So in this example, again, guys, we know that this is going to be x plus 4 times x plus 4 times x plus 4 times x plus 4. It's x plus y. I don't know why. I guess. All right. So now, if we're looking at this, what I would recommend doing is just doing two products by, let's just break this up. Let's split this up into these two products. So x plus y times x plus y. Now, hopefully, you guys, if you remember, this is a binomial squared. Do you guys remember that? Remember last class, period, that's what we did. So in reality, we're squaring the first two terms, squaring the last two terms, and then the middle term, does anybody remember what it was? It was two times the product of the outer and the inner. So I already know, I don't have to do a box method for this or whatever else. I already know that this product is x squared um, plus 2xy plus y squared. And hopefully if you guys did your math, you guys would have got the same worked out solution. This is the same thing, so I'm going to do x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. However, whenever I get to a trinomial, and this is me personally, you guys can do it any way you want to. Whenever I get to a trinomial um, and a product, I prefer to use the box method. And the reason why I just like using this box method is, first of all, any times you guys are multiplying, um, multiplying two values, you're basically finding the area of something. So since these are polynomials and things can get very confusing very quickly, I like to represent one as like the length and you know one is representing the width. It doesn't really matter which one is which. I'm just saying if you multiply these, they're going to represent the area. So I'll just write one binomial. So x. And again, if you guys want to do like the arrows or you know do any other way you want to, that's perfectly fine. I'm just showing you guys this method because the reason why I like this method is it keeps everything organized. And we are going to use, we are going to be doing some multiplication of higher order polynomials. All right, so x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. X, so then all you're doing is length and width for each box. So x squared times 2xy is going to be 2x cubed y. x squared times y squared is going to be x squared y squared. Over here, I have 2x cubed y. Over here, 2xy times 2xy is 4x squared y squared. And then therefore, this becomes 2xy cubed. Here I get x squared y squared. Here I get 2xy, so that's going to be 2xy cubed. And then here I get y to the fourth. What's also nice about the box method is you guys can see that the diagonals, as long as you write them in descending order, the diagonals are actually all like terms. That helps because now if I want to write this in descending order, I would say that the expanded form here is x to the fourth. 2x cubed y plus 2x cubed y is going to be um, 4x cubed y. Here I have x squared y squared. These are all like terms. So it's 1, 4, and 1. So it's 6x squared y squared. Here I have plus 4x y cubed plus y to the fourth. Okay. Yes. No, you could rewrite that. You could rewrite it in a different way. 